Smoke and Sacrifice comes to me by way of Tanneros. Thank you very much, sir. You just sent it to me and said, don't ask questions. And so I didn't. I jumped in. I took a look for it. took a look at it for myself. And what I found was a basic uh, survival story-driven RPG. Uh, it is so far, and there are some story elements here. You are going to get spoiled for some, but I'm, I'm close to the beginning here. So you don't have to worry about like losing too much. Um, there are some... Uh, some elements that could definitely use some refinement. Not the art, by any stretch. Artistically, this game is beautiful. Um, the way the characters move, I'll move the character around a little bit. Uh, I feel like I'm reading it, like I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm watching like an animated storybook. Uh, it just looks phenomenal. The the real problems that I'm having with the game is actually in the UI and the way the UI functions and also some of the elements with the way the game functions because of perhaps the art style. Now, when you look at this and you know me, you probably think, don't starve, right? This is probably why a lot of people were like, oh, have you played this game? Because it does have a, it's a survival game that has this kind of, pers this perspective. Um, oh, there's an ice there, hold on. Um, that has this particular perspective where it looks like uh, uh, don't start, right? Um, so of course, of course, Mike B would like it. So like, the thing is with don't starve is whenever an item falls, like let's say if an item falls behind a tree, right? Uh, it's pretty easy to pick up. And actually this, this transparency thing makes it easy for some, but doesn't exist for others, right? Some things will have it, others will not, making it difficult to click on the things you need to actually pick up. So like this glow fern, for example, let's go, actually let's go ahead and grab this guy here. Let's go this fly. Come here, come here. There we go. Animations may seem kind of strange the way the character like just jumps in the air like that and that ca that constitutes a I'm trying to catch something with my uh, with my nets. It may seem a little odd. Um, travel tube. I've actually not seen this. Uh, doors are closed, but there's a token slot. Looks like we'll need three of them. Sweet. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, other issues I have is you can't really keep on anything. Uh, I mean, you can't really like re keep on anything. The UI is super simple. I mean, like look what options. And it's just like, <laughs> that's all you get. That's pretty much it. Uh, the game doesn't have full screen windowed. Uh, this is one of those current year things. Um, I feel like the game art style was developed by somebody who was just really refined and really had a good idea for how animation should flow and all that. Uh, and artistically, how everything would kind of be like cohesive and how it all work. Uh, but then the UI, unfortunately, it now suffers for it because you could tell it's like, well, the person who did the UI maybe is not quite as, uh, uh, as talented as the art as the artistic designer right so there is some story here again i'm not gonna touch on it too much i'm gonna show you kind of the core concepts of how you like, kind of walk around how you do the attacks and all that good stuff um so whoops so we have a couple of these little porcupine things hogglings i think yeah hogglings you basically just like don't starve it's exactly like don't starve in this respect run up on them start swinging on them and they drop food right oops let's go and get this guy out of the way too you need a couple good hits before you disappear. Oh. There we go. And then and then you notice right there that my um my mace actually just uh just broke. Pick all this stuff up. There's no like AoE pickup, like hold down space or anything like that. It's just full space is obviously the jump. Um but yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no like way to AoE pick up anything, unfortunately. Uh, that would be ideal. It, uh, again, I'm going to reference Don't Starve a lot because Don't Starve has done it correctly um, in that you actually hold down space and things within the area will, uh, it'll, he'll basically automatically run around and pick up the things within the area. This game does not have that as far as I can see. Uh, we go to the inventory screen here. This is where you actually go and you make stuff. Uh, you can see that things are, are have, have a green bar below them. That just means that they have a lifespan or they have a shelf life <clears throat> or they have a durability. Uh, so in my case, uh, this thing is about to uh, probably delicious, delicious in the soup. I better just eat it. Actually, eat it, add a little bit of health right there. I uh, say with this one raw flesh. We eat that one too. Uh, go eat another one. Just kind of top ourselves off there. We're good. We're done. Uh, so yeah, we have a bunch of items all over the place. Oh, I actually have three tokens. So we could probably use that that travel thing. Uh, and then you have a bunch of items here that you can uh, you can use. Uh, I have a fur boots I used to walk on frost, which you guys saw just a minute ago. I was not able to cross. It started slowing me down. I should just go over there. I can show you. Do, 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 do. And again, I'm not touching on any of the story elements because the story so far is actually really intriguing. I, I and despite the UI stuff and the frustration of having having items break like constantly, like it makes it <laughs> it just it just yeah it makes things a little frustrating when you build something, you swing on something else like three times, and you lose it, right? 
There we go. So a little bit of frost. Press E to equip and put that on. I took them off because they have a durability, right? And you, you'll use that durability as you're walking around. So now we're in a, um, a different biome. We have a firefly there. Uh, we have this thing here. What is this thing again? Whistle blows when it's time for the drear to start and stop work. Okay, cool. Uh, we won't touch on what that is just yet. Whoa, shit, those are mines. Those are fucking mines. Holy crap. Oh, man, I did not see that coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That was my first time coming across those. I figured they would just be... Uh, I mean, they clearly are mines. I just figured they would just be for decoration. Like, oh, this is an old battlefield. These are all expended... <laughs> okay okay all right now back to what we were talking about we could go over here we could construct some new items here if we like uh i have the ability to craft um uh, a couple lanterns some sticky nets uh i could cook food if i had pure water and sour fruits sour fruit cuts with trees um boy that was exciting i can make black powder from firefly which is good uh let's see actually do i get one from the two fireflies that's like i do and then i can make a gas bomb uh, but a polyp brain, which actually polyp brain is not that difficult to get. This is these little polyps that are kind of walking around here. Uh, not these guys. What are those? Grim Cheaper. Oh, that's cute. That's an adorable name. Let's not, let's not trigger that thing. Oh, there's a firefly there. Let's go and get this guy on. Let's see. Crush you up into black powder. There we go. And it's a chest here. Interest needs a key that I do not have. But there's also a thing here I could probably cook something if I had the resources to do so. Let's actually go ahead and make a mace. Good. Pull left mouse button to craft that. And it automatically shows up. Oh, case got out of here. Oh, I thought it did. Sorry. Uh, inventory. I think I got to sign to favorites is what it was. Da -da -da -da. I got a, oh, I got a pol ice, icy polyp brain. Oh, I guess maybe the icy one is the difference. Let's go ahead and drink this. And here it is. So we can favorite it. Oh, we can also upgrade it, actually. So let's do that. We have, we have the quill things for that. So favorite, there, that adds it to the list right here. Now we can just scroll mouse wheel to get it. Oh, my net just smashed open that skull. <laughs> it's odd. Where are those icy polyp brains? That guy's not triggering that thing? Man. Well, there's polyps over here, actually. Let's go and get out of here. And we'll unequip our... Uh, Unequip our boots because I don't want to waste any. Oh, a pump. Oh, nice. Cool. I don't have to have a container for it. I'll also note the music is fantastic as well. The music, and it might be, um, it might, it might actually be personal preference on this one, like that I really, really, really like this music, um, because it reminds me so much of an old friend of mine who used to be a who was a producer back in the uh, early 2000s. His name is Adrian Bond. Like if if I find out that if I found out that Adrian Bond wrote the soundtrack for this, I would not be surprised at all because it's one thousand percent his style. Just these beautiful, like just airy pads, uh, and these kind of like just trickling, little oh shiza. Hold on, hold on. We need to get our. Uh, I don't think we have one maze. Let's go see. We're gonna make one of these. Hold off my button. Ah. There we go. The smoke is bad. Think of it like. Uh, as the nothing, right? <laughs> or something something that just by its mere presence will continue to deplete your sanity or your happiness. It is basically is a gloom that comes out at night. These are the Jira workers. They basically go around and do things down here that I'll, I'll, uh, I'll omit from this review. I'm looking for icy polyps. I'll take any kind of polyp brain right now, actually. Is it care? Smoke. Oh, it's smoky polyp brain. <sighs> yeah, so let's go and make this powder here. And we'll go back and we'll make. There we go. We'll go back and see if we can make um or find a regular smoky pop. Can I trigger that? Damn. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, that's an icy polyp. Nope. New smoky polyp. Sour tree is where you get the sour fruits or twigs. Sour fruit. Sour tree branch. So the game is kind of slowly pushing me towards this story. I didn't, oh wow, uh, that's a first. That's a tar. Um, I didn't actually have to. Uh, oh gosh, really? I asked again. I didn't really have to do much in, in by way of uh, in the way of uh, trying to figure out 
like there's no mini map right so I did, there was nothing that said okay now you have to um uh go to this point and go to this point it tells you the name of the place to go and just just the name itself it kind of gives you a clue it's like oh you have to cross the southern bridge or whatever and so you basically just kind of cruise around in the south until you find a bridge and you cross it and everything everything in terms of just like exploration feels very natural and organic which is good i don't there's no like giant arrow on the screen that says go this way so there's no hand holding like that looking for anything here i feel like i'm wasting a good oh jeez. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and take a look at our... Oh, that is a big, great big old thing! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Okay. All right, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh. It is not happy. Porcupine, huh? I wanted to see if it charges first. But those bad, those, those wasps tearing it up. Whoa! Oh, ouch! This guy's just chilling. Oh, that's cool, man. Take a couple swings on him. Wait for that fan of that fan of knives. Here it comes. Whoa, that's a reach. Okay, I was expecting that. Let's see. Um, gonna need this. Uh, gonna need this. Drink this. Whatever. Uh, it's unappetizing but effective poison prevention. Oh, I don't need poison prevention right now. Yeah, there's poisons. There's all kinds. There's all kinds of stuff. Oof, okay, let's get some swings. It's pretty low. The damn wasp did all the work! <laughs> I, I was like, oh, it's really low, it must be a, a couple swings. No, no, the wasp did all the work. Uh... Alright, now we're back here. Okay. Now, the way the game works is you have to actually save the game yourself. You have to save it. Um, so if you're out wandering around and doing stuff, you can't just quit. There's no auto save if to come back. This is actually where I left off uh, when I first started the the, the show here. <laughs> Pretty much exactly. So, yeah, that means that my my uh, I do have this, but that's about to wear out. Yep, we can actually repair it. This is something I should have mentioned before. I'm glad that actually we restarted so I can show you guys. I actually repair this thing. Right clicking on. Oops, sorry, left clicking on it, and then repair. Oh, I don't have the item for it. Never mind. All right, so let's go ahead and go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay. Uh, now, the last thing we look at is the quest log. Fix two totem lovers in the swamp near the feral child's home. So we have to earn the trust of this child that we've discovered um, right here. Just kind of just kind of the only like human looking uh, thing in this area. So uh, obviously we want to befriend it. Uh, and in order to befriend him, we have to fix the levers in the area. And we, we might not do that for this particular uh, episode here. There, put those back on. Ruined cannon. But we can at least do some exploration and see what we can get accomplished here. What is this? I need to take an impression. Okay, so actually we could do that. This is good. These things hold recipes. Um, uh, let's go back to here. This right here. Black powder. Easy. So make this. Make this. There. Now we can talk to this guy and I think okay we could swing on it if we want to but I don't think that's gonna be able to <laughs> that's gonna help us um we have to make another one of these actually the lantern can I refill it I think I can I think I refill it do I left clicking repair there we go cheaper than uh fixing it let's see where is that paper at right here oh I have a bunch of them already all right good take a rubbing ah skull helm Ooh, nice glitter dust and raptor skull all right that means we're going to find raptors. <laughs> or just hopefully just their skulls. There's a bone pile, bone pile. We can actually take off everything so we're not like wasting the durability of our... Yeah, see, just punch, just punch things. Probably better off that way anyways. This is... Okay, you know what? Here we go. This is a great example of what I was talking about, about having layers, layers issue. Where in Don't Starve, you can rotate the camera to get a better view. In this game, unfortunately, you cannot. I cannot pick up this item right here. I just hover my mouse a little higher. Oh, there it is. Nope, no, she's going over there now. Yeah, yeah. So that item is pretty much ripped. Simply because of the way that the art style is, uh, the way that the layers work in the game. Another bone pile. I don't think I'm gonna just. Ra I don't believe I'm gonna just randomly find raptor bones anywhere, but you never know. Let's beat up this thing. Come here, you. 
bitch gonna rub on me? Come here, come here, come here. There you go. I don't need more of those. Speed this thing up. Come here, you. What do you got? Chicken chunks! Oh, yeah! Straight up, this nugs just fell off this thing. Oh, okay, yeah, there's the uh, chest from earlier. That is a bomb. We're about mine. We're definitely certain of that now. Anything in there. Oh. Nope, wrong button. More flash powder, the better. Or black powder, rather. It's like they were playing. There are a lot of interesting interactions between the characters in the game. The way they kind of run around. I can't tell because they all have kind of like they all have a little bit of personality with the way they can move anyways. So it's hard to tell like if they're interacting with each other or if they're just if they're just going kind of cycling through their animations. Oh, okay, I got a little too low on that. These guys. Got kind of a pain in the butt. I see Polyp. Let's go ahead and craft another one of these just to get it ready. Okay. One other thing I should know too. I was a little disappointed there's no controller support. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see it there. Yeah, he has a stun. AoE stun, by the way. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get a little low. Yeah, so he has an AoE stun. He goes into kind of a, a trance. He'll kind of jump up and down or pulse a little bit and then it'll explode. Oh, crash. He, oh, man. <laughs> uh, the game is actually not this difficult. I'm just happy to run into a string of bad luck. I have not died yet until I started recording. <laughs> of course, of course. Oh, man. Um. Yeah, so <laughs> let's try that again. I have to find this damn uh, these levers to fix. I can't even find the damn levers. And like I said before, the game will not hold your hand on a lot of these things. You do, oh, here it is, right there, a lever. It looks like it needs a piece of wood for a lever. Awesome, I could do that. Uh, I believe I have that probably in my inventory. Piece of wood. Uh, spindle shroom, no, we could eat that though. Here you go, sour tree branch. Let's see, uh, insert. Perfect. One lever has been fixed. Can't see anything else to do with this. All right, so we have to find the other one. How much do I bet is like opposite sides of the camp? Let's go back to the camp. Let's beeline to the camp if we can. Is it straight up? I think it's straight up. Uh, pretty close. There are these structures here, but this is like old houses that are burnt down, so I, don't, I wouldn't say that they're necessarily right in front of that. I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah, they're randomly placed then. We're gonna get something accomplished today. What is that thing? Oh, nothing. I can't click on it. Okay. My, you can see it's starting to blink here. Let's go ahead and um, put another one in there, fill it back up. Wait till the last second. Maximize those fireflies. Okay, no, I'm not gonna bother with that. Let's come right back. The lever is gonna be on, uh, it's gotta be on warm ground here, this particular biome. All right. Woo woo. But that's only in the morning. There it is. You have to, obviously you have to check everything, right? Because, I mean, that just, I probably walked by this thing, I don't even know how many times. It's very clearly a totem, but it does kind of blend in with everything. Not complaining. All right, here we go. Let's go back to the kid. All right, I've done it. Oh, it looks exclamation mark. My workbench is working again. Thanks, you're really, you're really nice. I want you to have this. It's a better weapon than that old stick. Oh, hell yeah, bone machete. And if that one breaks, feel free to work more at my, make more at my bench. Awesome. Choose favorite weapons content to add to your favorites list. You can mouse mouse Thank you very much. I'll figure that part out. Let's see what he says. You're back and you use my workbench? I promise you have sent it in, but I've already given you a reward for the workbench. Tell you what, I'll fix your pendant if you bring me sweets. I haven't found, I haven't had any in years, but I found a recipe for them. Ooh, sour fruit. Oh, that's easy. Let's go shake a tree and a cook pot. We can do that too. You'll need to get some, yeah, some trickle from the wasps. This is basically honey. 
Uh, the easiest way to knock down their hives with a gas bomb. Uh, I did not do it that way. I basically just tanked it and I face tanked it and I took a lot of damage. Uh, if you bring me crystallized sour fruit, we can be friends. Okay. All right. All right. He's all like, yo, I want some candy. All right. So we'll do that. And then I don't want to go any farther than that because I really feel like I'm going to be spoiling stuff. And I do, I do enjoy the story thus far. I don't want to necessarily spoil it uh, for anybody else who might get in and enjoy it. So this is a, a treacle tree here. Yeah. I don't believe there's anything else there uh, in it for me is. Yeah, there's usually a big hive that's kind of hanging out here. And this doesn't have anything either. I already robbed that up everything. Uh, you can actually see. It's not like you walk up to it and you hit it and things fall off. Like you could always, you could see the sour fruit. Actually on the trail, like this one has sour fruit. Boom. And, and, and a branch actually. Where'd it go? There it is. We'll pick that up. So now we have enough to make the, uh, we'll go to crafting here. We have enough to make that stuff, the candy cook pot. Right, the cook pot. Oh, hold, hold down left click. There we go, we have candy. Now what does it give you, stats wise? Does it say? No, none of it says actually, it's all trial and error I feel like. Workbench! Uh, let's see. Some of these items I guess would just require a workbench is what it is. I have not, this is my first time. Oh, here we go. Okay, so bone. Let's go make another bone machete before we turn this thing in, this kid. And maybe we'll use a travel tube. Yeah. Put those on. Bones. Boom. So despite the UI issues that I've, I've obviously complained about enough, uh, I actually do enjoy the game. I do, like, because I, I do feel like I, where the story is going, it could potentially be really good. Um, okay, I got an achievement. DIY, first time making something. What up? We should go hack something down, actually. Before we before we get out of here, but yeah, I do. I do actually enjoy the game. Uh, if the story ends up taking a sharp turn for the worse later on and just being just completely garbage, uh, then I'll be supremely disappointed because then it's like, okay, well. Shank, wow. Nice. And actually, I don't want to waste that on that. I would be supremely disappointed because of the amount of... Cause, because it's like, I've already given a pass to the UI, right? It's like, okay, I gave a pass to the UI. At least the story's good. I don't want I don't want the, the, end, the end here to be, well, the story sucks and the... And everything sucks. So I can upgrade for 10 more. You get a pass out of one of the three. Two out of three, then it uh, becomes a problem. Oh my Jesus, dodo bird. Okay, I did not, I did, wow, wow, oh God, oh God, okay. I did not save, uh, so let's go back. Whoa, okay, yep, we can walk, oh, okay, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. God, those things are loud too, I apologize for that. There's the kid with the can, here we go. You got crystallized sour fruit, nobody makes that anymore. Can I have some, please? There we go. Press space to give. Wow! Crystallized sour fruit for me? Thank you. Why are you so nice? Nobody's ever been nice to me. I wish you'd been my foster instead of that crusty old craft master. Has he been so nice to me? Let me help you fix your pendant. You burnt all the power out of it, but it's easy to recharge. First, you need to drink this. It's made of crushed lantern flies. Now hold the pendant and focus really hard on it, okay? Channel all the light power you just drank to charge it up. There we go. We got a new element of the game here. That should protect you from the smoke much better. Nice. And since I trust you, here's something else. Heretic's Boots Manufactory. Uh, let's see. Shields against radiation and electri electrified floors. Ah. And the wasteland along with my staff. I don't know what it's for or how to make it, but, well, I'll just have a feeling that you might find it useful one day. All right. A pen will automatically repel the smoke as long as you have light in your light bar. Sweet. You can also use light to actively shield yourself in battle by pressing F. Activate shield gives complete protection from attacks, but drains your life bar quickly. All right, let's do this. Let's go save. We're not gonna talk to the kid yet. That's for me later. So yes, save it completed. Yeah, happy face. Uh, let's go try this guy out. Travel tube. Takes coins. Here we go. Insert. Ah. Locked. 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 Okay, let's have to go over there and unlock it. 
This is the only map you you ever get right here, by the way. Um, let's see, cause yeah, like there's there's this is it. Like this is basically what it gives you. There's no mini map or anything like that. You basically just have this, and it's all covered in smoke. It's all covered in smoke. And like I said, there's no arrows. There's nothing that says, you know, what you have to do, where you have to go, whatever. Um, there might have been markers on the map. I'm actually can't remember. And I don't want to like again unlock another era point of the area of the game. I just saved. Let's go ahead and fight that dodo real quick. We'll wrap up this episode like that. The hold F, huh? Okay. Pick up that loot that that thing dropped. Oh, this thing that's crushing bones all over the place? Let's go fight it real quick. Here it comes. Throw that. Ah, damn. Come here. Come on, I see it's starting to... I'm waiting for a tell here. Lower that a little bit. Wow, this thing's not fighting back. Oh, I held it down. I didn't, didn't get it at time, I don't think. Oh, it's not working, actually. Here, let's go ahead and eat some stuff real quick. Eat. Eat. Drink. There you go. It takes a moment. It's not going to just instantly heal. And there you go. The rapid skull. Oh, that's a freaking bomb. Nice, repels it. Look at that. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see. Um. God. Drink. I, I would like to kill this thing if I can. Firefly, what was it gonna do? Uh, oh, a firebomb. Hmm. Let's throw that and see what happens. Woo, baby! Yeah! And it's burning to death. Oh, God, so am I. <laughs> I got a little too close. Look at that. Okay, so, oh, gosh, bomb. Yes. Man, I'm really not good at seeing though. Oh, I got a key too. Cool, that opens up that chest. We got the skull. I'm saving this for me for later, but I am gonna make that skull right now to see if it, uh, if it actually adds. I mean, it should. You know, you should be able to put it on. You should see it. That'll be a game changer. I'll be pissed if you can't see it. Here we go. I don't believe that I've opened this. Yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, I actually, I already opened it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Where is it at? Oh, I don't think I unlocked it because I didn't get the uh, the rub off of the thing over here. What time is it? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's go up here real quick. It's right here, so we'll just rub rub this stuff all over it. Glitter dust. Oh, I don't have glitter dust. Okay, well we tried. I'm out of uh, stuff too. Let's go ahead and equip this. That'll help for now. And that's it. So, Smoke and Sacrifice is currently on Steam for $24.99. Uh, just a smidge on the high side for like a typical indie game, but again, I can't, uh, I can't, can't stress enough the beauty of the game, uh, the story so far. Again, I'm only, I'm like, when I started this, I really was only like 45 minutes or an hour or something in, but I knew that any farther I'd probably seriously uh, um, spoil some stuff here. And everything that we've done here so far doesn't necessarily spoil anything. Uh, outside of, you know, now you guys know that the kid likes candy. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> so that's it. Currently available on Steam. It is a game that I do find, uh, I do find, uh, you know, pretty intriguing, uh, both in art style and in story so far. Um, if the story ends up going to complete shit, I will obviously tell you guys don't even bother, but, uh, hopefully that does not end up being the case. So that's it. My name is Mike B. This is Indie for Breakfast. I would take you back to the main menu for some music, but there is nothing like that. It basically just loads right into your save game. There is no nothing else. You go, you load the game, you go right in. That's why we started here just like this. That's why we're going to end here just like this. Have a good one, guys. I'll see ya.